Hey there, today we're happy to be partnering with our good friends over at 3D Sparrow to show you how to draw Booba. So we're going to get started, we're going to draw the character in a basic standing position. So we're going to start by drawing the elements of the face area. So let's start in the center of the face with the nose. And basically what it is, it's a circle with an opening at the top. So let's start on the left side, we're going to circle around towards the right. So starting at the top, curve around and come back up towards the top, leaving that little gap in the center there because we're going to be overlapping the top bridge of the nose. So we're just going to move over a little bit on the left and just draw a curve going over to the right. Now let's draw the flange of the nose. So in the center of the left side, we're just going to draw a little half circle poking out and on the right, we'll do the same thing. Now from this point, we can start blocking in the eyes because now that we have a center of focus, we can start measuring out where the other elements are going to belong. So starting on the left side of center, we're going to draw the eye. So a big oval, starting from the top, we're going to come down towards the nose, but we're not going to actually touch the nose. So starting right up here, we're going to draw a big oval, like so. And from here, we're going to draw a smaller circle or a smaller oval in the inside, leaving a little bit of space on the outside. And we'll just try to keep this as even as we can all the way around. And then on the top left up here, we're going to draw a circle for the highlight. So we're imagining that the light is coming down in this angle. So we'll just sort of pick up a little highlight on the top edge of that eye. Let's go ahead and color this area in black. Now we're going to draw the eye on the right. And we just want to match exactly the same size over on the right side. Now we're going to leave a little gap in the center. So matching up the height, we'll start at the very top come down to the bottom, and then circle back up to the top again. And again, we're going to just circle in the inside just to trace out a smaller oval. I just want to leave that nice even gap around the outside. And then again, we're going to draw that little highlight circle on the top left. So a circle of the same size, and then we'll color everything else in black. Okay, now that we have the eyes in place, now we can start building out the actual eyeball. So in the center of the nose, we're going to move up up above the eyes to the top of where the eyes would be. So we're going to start in the middle and pull our pen towards us to draw a line right in between the eyes. From this side, we're going to draw in the eyeball around the, uh, the pupil on the left side. So from here, the top, we're going to circle around, come out a little bit wider, and then come right into the flange of that nose. So from here, we're going to go around, around the eye, and then just come right in towards that nose. Let's do the same thing on the right side, but this side, I'm going to raise the eye a little bit higher because the eyes are a little bit shifted. This eye on the right is a little bit higher. So we're going to start at the top, go up, and now we're going to move around the eye and back in towards that flange of that nose. So coming down and taking our time to come right into the side of that nose. Let's draw in the eyelids. So just up here, we're going to draw a curve from the outside, curving into the inside. And then from that same point, we're just going to go up above the right eye. Just like so. And we're going to draw the bags under the eyes as well. So we're going to do the reverse. So starting on the left side here, we're going to curve up and into the top bridge of the nose. We'll do the same thing, just curving around like that. Okay, so we've got the nose, we've got the eyes. Let's get into the little feathers that stick up above the head. So we're going to keep this very simple. Starting from the center, we're going to curve out to a point on the left side. So right up here, I'm just going to curve in this way. Now, I'm not moving outwards. It's always easier to pull your pen towards you when drawing curves and lines. It's just a, more of a natural motion for your hand. From this point, I'm going to curve down, just outside of the eye. And from here, I'm going to curve up in the opposite direction, but I'm going to leave a gap as I get towards that point there. And then we'll do an overlap and curve in towards that center point. Let's do the same thing on the right side, but we're going to make this one a little bit taller. So starting in the center, we're going to curve up towards the top. From here, we're going to curve down to the outside. From here, we're going to curve up, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have a little bit of a gap at the top, so then we can overlap that on top of this line there. Okay, so we've got the feathers. Let's get into the ears. Now, this is getting get a little bit tricky because there's a curve, like an S curve, that goes out from the eye. So starting at this point on the side of the eye, just above the bag of the eye, we're going to move out towards the ear. So I'm using my opposite hand to sort of measure out where I want to go. So the ear tip, I want to go to right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve in, so curving down, and then pulling it in the opposite direction right into that eye. So curving in, and then right down in towards that eye. From this point, I'd like to go over to the opposite side and draw the same line, but flipped over. It just helps to balance things out with each step. 
It's a mirror image of the left side, so it helps balance out my drawing. So from here, I'm gonna go over to the right, and right here on the tip of the ear, I'm gonna curve out, and then come right down into that eye. From this point, I wanna take that tip and curve with a downward curve into that same starting point here. Starting up here, I'm just gonna curve down and into the side of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting up here, we're gonna curve right into the side of the eye. Now we're going to draw the inner part of the ear. So from the tip, again, we're going to curve in and just tuck it in just below that starting point. So starting up here, we curve down, and it goes a little bit wider, and just goes right into that eye. Let's do the same thing on this side. So curving down, and we want to end up right underneath that starting point. Starting up here, curve around, and right into that eye. From this point, we can start building out the rest of the face, so the big beard area. But before we do that, I want to make sure that I have enough space for the mouth. So I'm going to have to draw the mouth in first. So what the mouth is, in the center here, just below the nose, I'm going to leave a gap. I want to draw a curve that goes from left to right. A very simple curve like that. From here, I'm going to turn up the ends. So on the left side, I'm going to curve up. On the right, I'll do the same thing, so curving up. Now from here, I want to draw the actual lip. So the thickness of the lip, I'm going to start on the end and just curve across underneath the top of the lip. Just curving across like so. Now let's draw in the bottom, or the top edge of the bottom lip. From the same starting point, I'm gonna curve down and leave a gap in the center. So starting up here, I'm gonna curve down, leaving a gap, and then coming back up again on the right side. Now we're gonna draw in the bottom part of the lip. So again, the same thing. So starting up here, we're gonna curve down to the bottom of the lip and then curving back up on the right side. And then I just sort of want to make sure that the lips are about equal thickness. So I want to make sure that the distance between here is relatively similar at the top here. From here, I'm going to draw some teeth in the middle. I'm going to draw a vertical line coming down. I'm going to move over to the left and draw another line. Let's move over to the right, and again, making sure that the spacing is the same. I'll draw another line, move over one more time, and draw one line on the end and one on the right. From here, if you would like, you could draw a little split so you could show the top and bottom teeth. So from this point, I'm just going to move a horizontal line across like that. Alright, now we're going to get into the beard. So this is actually almost like a big circle, but along the way we're going to have to draw these little fur areas. So I'm going to show you a little bit of fur or cartooning fur technique. From the edge of this eye, where the eye meets the ear, I'm going to start up here and draw a curve going out. So this is my starting point. Now this is going to work its way into the beard, but I'm going to do a little bit of overlap here. From up here, I'm going to move over, and I'm going to leave a little gap here because the beard is actually on top of the face, or the cheek area. So I'm going to start up here, and curve out. Let's go over to the right and do the same thing. So starting up here, leaving a gap, curve out. Now from here, I'm going to do a, a series of like the zigzags that come down to the chin. Now I'm putting my finger at the bottom of where the chin would be, so it's roughly right about here because I'm drawing almost like a nice big circle. So from this point, I'm gonna curve up in the opposite direction. From here, I'm gonna curve down, and I'm basically going towards my finger in that motion. So coming down like that. Let's do the same thing on the right. So curving up towards the nose with a short line, and then again, curving around with a curve. So it's almost, you can almost imagine that there's a circle happening here, but along the way, I'm doing these little furry details on the ends. So from here, again, I'm gonna do a little curve back, on the right, I'll do the same thing. From here, I'm going to come right in towards my finger, but I'm going to leave a gap here because I want to do one more sort of fur zigzag. So curving in like this. Now from here, just to finish it off in the center here, I'm going to come up on both sides. Now to finish this middle part off, all I need to do is pull it in towards the middle and then go up on the right side. Okay, so that's a very simple cartoony looking beard. Now from here, I'm gonna draw on the body, and the body is almost like a little oval, almost like a grape shape, but it's smaller than the face, so it's a tiny little area here. I'm gonna draw the belly down to about where my finger is, but we're gonna do the same technique for the fur. So on the left side, I'm gonna start on the left, I'm gonna curve in towards my finger, on the right, I'll curve in towards my finger, but again, we're gonna do the fur. So starting up here, I'm gonna curve down. On the right side, we wanna make sure we're starting at the same height, I'm gonna curve down. We're gonna go up with a short line, Little curve going up. I'm going to draw one more fur end coming in. I'm going to go up again. Two short lines. Now we're going to just merge into the center just like I did with the beard. 
So coming in towards the middle, and then here we're gonna curve up towards the right side. Okay, so so far it's looking pretty good. Let's get into the arms. So the arms are gonna have these two thin looking arms going into these big, big, huge hands. So starting up here on the side of the body, I'm gonna draw a curve. So two equal lines that curve down towards the hand. And I want the hand or the wrist to be around this height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the inner part of the arm. So right here, I'm gonna curve down. I wanna take that same curve and just move over and just draw the same thing. So it's equally the same distance on the bottom and at the top. From here, we're gonna get into the hand. And I'm gonna start with the thumb because we're gonna do some overlapping here. From here, I wanna do a curve for the thumb. So from here, I'm gonna draw a curve coming down and then back up, okay? So it's like a big sort of sausage shaped finger. From here, I'm gonna start drawing in the first finger. So from here, I'm gonna curve around the thumb, kind of like that, so a little curve. I'm gonna round out the finger in the opposite direction. Okay, so there's a little bit of a curve here. I'm gonna pull this up right about there. Now we're gonna do some overlapping. I'm gonna come about halfway along this line and just draw another curve. And that's for the second finger. And then for the third finger, I'm gonna start again in the center of this curve and go right up to that wrist line. Curving up just like that. And if you'd like, you could draw some fingernails for some detail. So right here in here, I'm just gonna draw a circle. Over here, because the finger is turned this way, I'm gonna start on the end here Draw a curve like this for one nail, and then here you'll probably just see the tip of another. Let's take that same arm and draw it on the opposite side. So again, we're going to make sure we use our hand to measure out where the wrist is going to be, and at the bottom part of the arm, we're going to start at the same height, curve down to the wrist, and then up here, again, making sure it's at the same height, curve down towards the wrist. Let's go ahead and start with that thumb. I want to make sure that the thumbs are roughly the same height. So curving down and then pulling back up, now from here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, around the finger. I'm going to round out the finger and come up towards the wrist. From here, we're going to come about halfway along this curve and draw a curve up. Again, halfway along this curve, curve up right into that wrist. Let's go ahead and draw in some thumbnails. So about here, we're going to draw a circle. And then we're going to draw that curve starting on this side of the finger. Draw a curve for one nail. And up here, we're just going to tuck this in behind that finger there. Okay, so we got the arms. We've got the hands, let's get into the final step, which are the legs and the tail. So, right in the center here, I'm gonna leave a gap between the legs. We're gonna start on the left side, on the top, on the inner edge of the leg. So we're gonna start at the top of the leg, down towards the heel, with one curve, coming down like this. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So again, make, making sure we're the same distance from center to the leg, like we do on the left, curving down. Now let's get back to this leg on the left side. So here, I'm gonna draw on the heel. So we're gonna draw a curve. From this point, I'm going to just draw a nice little even curve going up. Now we're going to draw on the first toe. We're going to do some overlapping. So up here we're going to curve, and we're going to step over and draw almost like an oval coming back, but we're going to leave a gap on the end. We're going to overlap some toes, just sort of similar to how we did with the hand. We're going to come down here and draw a curve going around, and we're going to leave a little gap at the end. And again, one more time, starting up here on the toe, curve up and then back in, leaving that gap there. From here, I want to draw the curve for the top of the foot. So curving in towards the back of the leg, leaving a gap here. Now, all we need to do is draw the front of the leg. So here, I'm going to draw that same curve, starting on the outside, right into the top of that foot. So there's a little overlap happening here. Let's draw in a little bit of fur on along the bottom ankle area. So from here, draw a line going up. And this is basically just a series of zigzags. Come down, you can make them a different length if you'd like, and right to the back of the leg. Let's draw on some toenails, similar to how we did this finger. Starting on the last toe here, we're gonna draw a curve going around. On this curve, we'll draw one more toenail here. And then here, we'll draw one more as well. Let's draw that exact same foot on this side. So again, starting with the heel, we'll draw a curve going up. Now I wanna make sure that that width is the same. We draw the first toe. So starting up here, we're gonna draw an overlap, drawing that oval, coming back. Do an overlap again. Draw one more toe here, leaving that gap there. And then up here, we're gonna draw one final toe, curving back with that little gap. From here, we're gonna draw that curve for the top of the foot, just like we did on this side, leaving that gap in this side. Draw a curve right into that toe. Let's draw the front part of the leg. So up here, we wanna draw a curve. Just tuck that in top of the foot. And then again, we'll draw some zigzags for the fur detail along the ankle. Let's draw some toenails. So starting on this toe, 
Starting from the top, we'll curve around, almost like an oval. Draw another one here, and then one final one on the third toe. Now the final step is the tail. So the tail is in the back of the body, in the center, right here. We're going to curve this up to the top, just so we can see the tuft of hair on the end. So here, I'm going to draw the tail starting here, curving up, and then out. So what I want to do is I want to start where the tail meets the fur, right here. I'm going to put a little point. From this point, I'm going to draw a curve going out. Just like I did with the fur on the face, I'm going to curve it back slightly. I'm going to go back out again. So you can see that I'm sort of continuing this nice curve going out. I'm going to come back a bit, and then I'm going to draw the tip. So another curve like this. From here, I'm going to curve down. Okay, so it's coming wider. Now from here, I'm going to draw the opposite curve. So going up in the opposite direction. So here we're going to curve back, we're going to curve out. Now from this point I want to meet up with that tip here. So draw and curve right around like that. And simply all we need to do is draw a tail coming this way. So from this tip I'm going to draw a curve going towards the body behind that arm. Imagine this curve going behind the arm continuing on here and we're going to make that thicker. So just going across and just tracing out the thickness of that tail. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Booba. I want to thank you for watching. If you like more lessons like this, please subscribe to us at Cartoony for Kids. We have hundreds of lessons available for free. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.